summer between, um, well, uh, between college and uh, going to Harvard Business School, I clerked on the floor of the stock exchange, which was in 1971 when there was the monetary system breakdown, and uh, which was an unbelievable experience. And, and it was, well, I, I was wrong many times in the markets up to that, but this was one of those really telling times. So you're, imagine you're, um, I, I watched it bef- uh, follow developments day by day up until the breakdown. And what I was seeing is that the world financial system, money as we knew it, dollars were not being accepted. We had large debts around the world and these dollars were not being accepted and um, a big crisis. Um, and it came to head on August 15th, 1971, when I was clerking on the floor of the exchange. And President Nixon, on Sunday night, gets in front of the television and announces uh, the floating of the dollar. In other words, we're going off the gold standard. And at that time, uh, money had no value except as um, a claim against gold because money was like checks in your checkbook, right? It had no value, no intrinsic value. So now there was going to be the severing of the relationship. It's like now you can keep the checks, but you can't have the money that's in the bank. And so that, I figured, wow, what a shock. And I walked on to the floor of the New York Stock Exchange where I'm clerking, and um, I come there, and the stock market went up the most it ever went up in a long time, in many years. Um, and that was the first time that happened. And I said, I, I wasn't prepared for the fact that this was a currency devaluation. People at the time, none of us, really understood the relationships because it never happened in our lifetimes before. So I started to do research. I always wanted to understand how it made sense, and I realized that there were currency devaluations that happened many times in history. So, for example, in 1933, in March of 1933, in the Great Depression, the same thing happened for the same reasons. There was too much debt, and they had to print money. And when you print money, you have this kind of effect. And these experiences then, all through my uh, development, I found that there were many things that had never happened in my lifetime before, or the lifetime of the people that I was operating with, the marketplace. The people in the market, mostly, uh, were very, very much um, responsive to their experiences, particularly their more recent experiences. So, it was a pattern that I would see um, of surprise. We would be surprised because we were stuck in our presumption that our recent experiences were going to continue. 